Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Luke the Evangelist. Like St. Luke, may we also proclaim Jesus, not only through our words, but especially through our lives. Let us now call to mind our sins, and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore, we adore you, we glorify you, you. We, we give you thanks for your great, great glory. glory. Lord God, Lord God, Heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ Only Begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, Son of the, the Father, Father, You take, take away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, 
You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, who chose St. Luke, to reveal by his preaching and writings the mystery of your love for the poor. Grant that those who already glory in your name may persevere as one heart and one soul, and that all nations may merit to see your salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. All to Timothy. Beloved, Demas, enamored of the present world, deserted me and went to Thessalonica. Crescens to Galatia, and Titus to Dalmatia. Luke is the only one with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, for he is helpful to me in the ministry. I have sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left with Carpus in Troas, the papyrus rolls, and especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me a great deal of harm. The Lord will repay him according to his deeds. You too be on guard against him, for he has strongly resisted our preaching. At my first defense, no one appeared on my behalf, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. 
So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Luke, who wrote two books in the New Testament. St. Luke narrated to us the story of the life of Jesus in the gospel attributed to him, the gospel according to St. Luke. And St. Luke also told us about the life of the early church in the Acts of the Apostles. And in our first reading today, we heard from the letter of St. Paul to Timothy that Luke was a companion of St. Paul. Probably Luke accompanied Paul in some of his missionary journeys. Kasama ni Pablo si Lucas sa kanyang paglalakbay at pagmimisyon. This, my dear brothers and sisters, gives us a picture of how mission was done in the early church. That doing mission, spreading the good news, evangelizing peoples, is not a solitary task. It is a task that is done together. Ang mga alagad at ang mga unang Kristiyano sa kanilang pagmimisyon, sa kanilang pagpunta sa iba't ibang lugar upang ipahayag ang tungkol kay Jesus at ang mga turo ni Jesus ay hindi nagkakanya-kanya. Sila ay magkakasama. They work together. And this is also what we see in our gospel today. Jesus appointed 72 disciples and sent them to mission in pairs. They, Jesus sent them two by two. The reason is not really practicality. The reason why Jesus sent his disciples in pairs was credibility. Because if practicality and efficiency are the reasons, then Jesus would have sent them individually so that they may be able to reach out to many more peoples. Pero nung pagsamasamahin niya, mas konti ang mapupuntahan. Pero sa pamamagitan ng kanilang pagsasama, 
magiging saksi sila sa pananampalataya kay Jesus. By working together, by cooperating with each other, by doing the mission together, they will be effective witnesses to faith in Jesus. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, sometimes we prefer to work alone. We say that we will be more effective when we do things alone. Sinasabi natin, mabuti pang mag-isa na lang ako. Sarili kong diskarte, sarili kong style, sarili kong pamamaraan. Wala na akong iisipin pang iba. Mahira pa kapag may kasama ako. Iintindihin ko pa siya. Baka hindi pa kami magkasundo. I would rather do things by myself. But in the church, in our faith, no one should be alone. We always work together because working together is witnessing to faith and charity. Kasi kahit anong ganda ng pagpapahayag ng isang alagad ni Jesus, kahit anong galing at husay ng kanyang pangangaral, kung hindi siya marunong makipag-cooperate, makisama at makiisa sa iba, kung yung nangangaral ng salita ni Jesus nag-aaway-away at hindi magkasundo, nasisira din ang misyon. By working together, by cooperating, by accepting each other's differences, the disciples preach Jesus even without words. Kapag nakita ng mga tao na yung mga alagad ni Jesus, nagkakasundo, magabat magkakaiba, kung nakikita ng mga tao na yung mga alagad ni Jesus, nagkakaisa at nagtutulungan, kahit hindi pa sila magsalita, nangungusap na ang kanilang pamumuhay. That is, the, that is true during the time of the apostles. That should also be true in our times. By our community life, by our unity and love for each other, we give witness to our faith in Jesus even without words. My dear brothers and sisters, like St. Luke, we are also called to proclaim the gospel of Jesus. Not through writing, not even through speaking, but by working together, by journeying with one another, and by loving each other. Please stand. Loyal friend and companion of St. Paul, Luke gave us a gospel rich in stories. Let us pray to the Father through the loving Savior revealed in Luke's gospel. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church may awaken within her members a hunger and thirst for the bread of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Spirit may guide those in the medical profession and those who assist them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may actively participate in the missionary activity of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive support and consolation from family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that those who have died may share in the joy of the company in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty Father, with the prayers of St. Luke, we bring our needs before you. Grant them for the sake of your Son, the loving Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant through your heavenly gifts that we may serve you in freedom of heart, we pray, O Lord, so that the offerings we make on the feast day of St. Luke may bring us healing and give us glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand, on, to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will, will be, be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
Amen. Stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which Saint Luke proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Binabati po natin ang mga tagapagtaguyod ng sining at kultura ng Pilipinas uh, sa inyong ikatatlong Philippine Arts Summit. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa, pakikiisa sa ating pagdiriwang at ipinapanalangin po natin na maging mabunga ang inyong pagtitipon upang inyong may pagpatuloy ang inyong mahalagang misyon para sa ating lipunan. Maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. At Panginoon sa iyong kulang Mismong kaloob sa ating puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon